everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Linux Guy. Today is going to be a quick video just showing you how to install GOG or GOG as they like to now be called. Good old games. How to install their games in Linux. Good old games gives you a .sh file when you download Linux versions of their games. Now a .sh file is really just a bash script and they're pretty easy to install and I'm going to show you how to do that but I want you to be aware of another project before I do and it's called Lutris. Now if you're interested in me going to more detail about this program right here tell me and I'll talk about how it's used and how it can make this process easier but for those of you who just want to download your stuff directly from good old games and install it go ahead and download them and you'll have an sh file like this so unlike a .deb or a .rpm file the .sh file is actually a shell script so you're gonna have to run it as such so the way you can do this is open your terminal up and go into the folder that it's located in, mine's in my downloads, and if you're running a bash shell you probably don't need to do this but I always type bash first and then go ahead and type in the name of the file. Now the way I was able to type that so fast is I typed g and hit tab so it autofills. A good thing to learn if you're going to ever be using the terminal. It's a fast way to fill things in. So let's go ahead and run this and I'm going to install this game called A Bird Story. It's just a small little indie game that's available from Good Old Games. It's a fun game. It takes about two hours to play through and I like it. It's got a great soundtrack if you're big into soundtracks. Anyway, I chose it for this demonstration because it's small so I can install it quickly. You'll see that when I run this script it actually opens a graphical interface for us to install so this should look real familiar. If you've ever installed anything from Good Old Games for a Mac or for Windows it should look very much like this. So then you just click through the normal stuff like you do. If there is a EULA, you can go ahead and accept it. This is where you can set your specific directory. One thing to note, this process does only install for this local user. You see it's going to install for the Linux guy in a folder that the Linux guy owns. So if I wanted this game to be available to other users, I might want to put it somewhere else that's shared. So let's go ahead and install it. You have the option like you always do to create a desktop shortcut. I don't like that, but I do usually create a menu item. Next. And here we go. It installs real quick. And when I click finish, it will go ahead and complete the script. So you see it ran here, but it opened a graphical interface. So this looks more challenging than it really is. I mean, you have to get into a terminal. You have to type a command. But once the command is typed, it's just the same as installing it as in Windows or a Mac. So it's not too hard. Hopefully you can figure this out. If you have any questions or comments please leave them below as always thank you for watching make sure to follow us on library and send us a tip over there if you feel so inclined and we will see you in the next one